Okay, to so down the bench you can see we have the Brother Hobby uh, R4 motors. These motors are wonderful, but before we get into that I'd just like to quickly apologise for the lack of content. I've been moving house, that's why there's a new desk surface, because I custom built a desk. I'll flash some pictures up. And yeah, I've been unpacking boxes, stuff like that. Okay, so now into these motors. These motors come packed in a small box like this. I'm kind of disappointed with the packaging because they were just loose inside with a bag of screws and I mean in shipping from you know the other side of the world some rough couriers could damage the motors when they're on their way. But onto the motor. So these motors are 2205 size motors, oh sorry 2206 size motors. These are 2300 kV. They have a lovely anodization of pink and green. Uh, yeah, four mounting holes on the bottom. The wires to go to the ESCs are individually separated within the base mount, which is nice because you know you're not when you if you try and tug on them or anything, or they won't really go out of place and they'll stay nice and neatly routed as you go down the arm of your quad. Um, obviously, they come with a lot more wire, but I've been testing them out the last few weeks and really loving them for freestyle. For racing, they're a bit. My opinion, the, the response times are really good and the thrust at low end and high end is really good, but they just don't sort of have that, like the handling that, you know, some other motors do, like the red bottoms, or the new red bottoms or the 2306. But they definitely have the torque for freestyle and they're really quick to spool up. The magnets are also really strong, like you can see how sort of ratchety it is as I spin it. You know, you could feel it in real life, but it is the magnet. You can feel the magnets are really strong. I mean, you might even be able to hear them click. But yeah, they are, and the nut, the nuts really. I've never really seen these nuts before because I'm really used to the sort of Emax. When I got the Emax red bombs, they had the the longer nut, but to save weight, they shortened the the uh, you know the the shaft. Uh, it's a hollow shaft by the way, it's a titanium alloy so super strong not going to bend on you. And then the, yeah, then they have these super thin sort of nuts that take up less space. But I mean they're, what I found is they're kind of soft so if I try and, I can do them fine with this end of my spanner but if I try and use the sort of star bit end then I've ended up just sort of damaging all of the nut corners and it's just, yeah. So the nut, the metal on the nut is a little bit soft and I kind of like it a little bit harder. But it's nice they've anodized it and the white silicone is nice so you get, it doesn't fly off. Uh, the black band in the middle is really nice and yeah, I mean the colour scheme of these motors is just wonderful. Uh, as you can see on the bottom we have a set screw. So if you want to take off the bell to clean the motor or do maintenance or whatever, check you've got a slip magnet, which I haven't had a slip magnet in my two months of testing these. Uh, yeah, you can just undo these, but what I've found is they do them up quite tight and I've actually stripped a couple. Um, but, you know, got a, you know, for the price of these, they have to sort of <laughs> use something slightly cheaper somewhere because these are about 15 pounds in the UK. Uh, price may vary though. Uh, I'll leave the link where I got them to in the bottom. Uh, but yeah, the bearing is super nice. Uh, I mean, like I've never had these get clogged or anything. And then the windings on the motors are some of the best windings I think I've ever seen. So, this is the build I'm testing out these motors with. It's an Armiton SCX 200 frame running some 5 inch Lumineer butter cutters in wild woolly pink. Uh, yeah, this I mean this build has been flying great with these and as you see I've sort of based the colour scheme around them, pink standoffs, pink props. Yeah, so I mean this thing flies beautiful with these motors and these props and a lot of thrust which you'll see in the video which I will play now. Uh -huh. 